They're just playing. Oh shit! It's catching me falling all over the place. <laughs> Brilliant. No, I'm gonna. I can't, I can't stand straight now. Hello and once again welcome to Let's Explore, my name is Steve. Right then, so on a bit of a, an undercover mission today, um, we're at a location where I can't tell you where we are, but with my mate Rob Palmer aka Rare Rob, also Indy Andy Jones is here with his girlfriend Tay, but they're somewhere <laughs> in this woodland because we've come to look at, I think it's a really old cottage, now we actually had a failed explore earlier and this was the backup plan that uh, Andy's given us, so it could be quite interesting this. So we're at this clearing now look and me and Rob ain't sure where we're going. Indy Andy Jones is over there somewhere so it's really squelchy here as well and I ain't got my boots on. Yeah I know. Right, what do you reckon? Through, bit, is that a bit of a path there? It could be quite exciting this. You what, mate? Yeah, I think we're definitely going straight ahead anyway. I think so. Oh, my feet are getting wet. That's not good, is it? Right. I'll tell you what, mate. I bet where Andy's gone, yeah. I bet his way was easier. Probably. There's an interesting wall down here. I won't bore people with that, though. Oh, Christ. We must be mad. What are we doing? Coming down here. Yeah, we're not oh, going through that way. Yeah, we're not going through there, mate. Um, oh. Here you are, mate. Yeah, it is. It's like something was there once, isn't it? Oh, shit. Right, this is a bit better. Right, and so look who I've just bumped into. Indy Andy Jones and his girlfriend Tay. And what I should say here, because I know she's not been very happy with me just recently, is that I keep saying that he is walking with shadows, but it's the both of them. I thought it was all Andy's, but it's not. It's Tay as well, isn't it? So, there you go. She takes all the good pictures. Yeah, that's right. Well, anyway, what we're looking at today, because uh, this is your is, baby, this is. Yeah, it's a gazebo of some sort and a woodcutter's cottage. I was kind of right then. I told everyone it was a cottage. Yeah. I think. In here somewhere. In here somewhere. The stingers. These are the, be these are the best explorers, though. These are the best noses for me, anyway. I love all this Indy Andy Jones. Now. I can't even say Indiana Jones anymore when he's with me, can I? But yeah, I've seen this online and it looks really interesting. History-wise, I haven't got a clue, but anyway, hopefully next time you see us, we'll have found it. Right then, so if you go down to the woods today, you might be in for a big surprise. And there's his first surprise. Now this is a gazebo. Now I don't know any history on this place whatsoever. We do think there's a bit of a woodcutter's cottage around here, like Andy said to you earlier. But Andy's just said that this is on the earliest maps. So what we're saying, the earliest OS maps? Yes. So they'd be, what would they be, 1806? Yeah. So in that case, that is very, very old. Show you around it, but I'm looking forward to seeing this cottage, if it's here. We think it is anyway. It's very muddy and I ain't got my boots on, but yeah. Let's have a look at that. Right, so this is amazing here. I'm gonna take you inside it in a minute because as you can see, there is an upstairs. Just look at this. Like I say, this is probably very you know, early 19th century, this building. This is extraordinary, but let me take you upstairs. Wow, just imagine the conversations that are taking place round here. Brilliant. Right, let's go upstairs. Right then, so my wingman, Indy Andy Jones, has informed me that the door is open up here. This is amazing. I mean, just look at this. Oh, I wish Delighted Dave was here to see this. He would absolutely love this. But bless him, he can't be with us today because he's got a poorly leg. Won't we get well soon, mate? And all that. Wow. This is amazing, and there's not a lot to see in here. But what a thing to come across in the woods. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. A lot of spiders in here. Luckily enough, they don't bother me. Wow, look at the size of that one. Wowzers. Tell you what, mate, I'm glad that you convinced me to come over here now. 
because I'm not going to give this location away. There will be explorer type people that know all about this place. But we actually went somewhere else today in Buckinghamshire and that failed. But yeah, the main man here convinced me otherwise. He had the Mardis earlier because we No, it ain't. No. You, had, you had the Mardis. He got the ump and then I gave him a Melvin Cobb <laughs> and he cheered up a bit then. But yeah, this is amazing. So just been showing you that fantastic gazebo or whatever you want to call it in these gardens or woodland or whatever they are and it's quite clear that this place used to be a bit of an ornamental garden but before I get to that I've got a very interesting wall here look and then behind there we've got what we think is a giant sequoia tree I think I pronounced it right and one over there so yeah just there look so whoever lived here they had a bit of bunts on the hip do you know what I'm saying but for a wheel there looks to be a structure is this the woodcutter's cottage there's only one way to find out, isn't there? And just off camera there, Rob was going absolutely batshit crazy because a wasp or something or a bee had got into his fleece. He was jumping about like Jive Bunny. But anyway, <laughs> more to the point, this does look interesting. Let's go and have a nose there. Right, so things are getting very interesting round here. You could say that things are hotting up. Oh, I love these type of explorers when you go out into the woods and what have you. But we've got really, really old stonework walls here. We've got something over there that I'm going to show you in a bit. But this wall leads to what we think is the woodcutter's cottage. And this is fantastic round here. Really is, um, like I said earlier, I think, I can't tell you where we are. I'm not going to give this location away. But what do we think this is here, mate? Um, I think that might have been for some sort of drive. There's a, a wheel there that takes a drive belt. Yeah, some really good old machinery here, look. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so but more... equipment. yeah, so from what we know, this was a woodcutter's cottage. Um, that's what Andy's telling me anyway. So, and this could be some sort of sawing equipment, very old sawing equipment. Fantastic, that. Brilliant. Let's get over there and have a look at that wonderful old structure. Do you know what? I really don't know how old this place is, but it is very, very old. Now, it could be deceiving because it's obviously been derelict for a long time, therefore looking older. But Andy did say earlier that it is on the really old maps. But just look at this, this buttress here. Look how thick that is. That is, that's amazing. Just look at this. You know, they really did build things strongly back in those days. Um, you know, this property could well be 1700s. I'm not going to commit myself to that because I really don't know. But what an amazing piece of history, yet again. I think they need to get safe style windows round, don't they? <laughs> but yeah, oh wow, look at that in there. An old fireplace, isn't it? Just look at that. We'll try and get in there in a minute. Do you know what, it's amazing, you know? We drive these roads every day, you know, going to work, going shopping, but you never know what's over a wall or behind some trees, you know, what piece of history is there waiting to be discovered? And you know, okay, this is in a sorry state of repair now. It's unsalvageable, isn't it, just about, but it still tells us a story. But, can you just about make that out there? That is something very interesting that does indeed tell us that this was once a woodcutter's cottage. Let's go and have a nose there. Right, so we've come across some very interesting things since I've been making these videos. I'd like to think so anyway, but I've got to admit, what I'm looking at now is very cool. And uh, tells us that this was indeed somewhere where wood was cut. Just look at them bad boys there. Ain't they amazing? What a find. I, do you know, I really wish David had been here. He would have absolutely loved this. Photographer's dream this, this old ruin is. Absolutely amazing. But Dave would have, he'd have loved this. I wish we'd have, like you say, I wish we'd have piggybacked him round now. We'd have took it in turns, wouldn't we? Because <laughs> bless him, he's got a poorly leg. Just look at these, incredible. Wow, so just look at these. Absolutely beautiful. The fact that these remain here, very, very sharp still as well. Absolutely. And you know, probably one of these back in the day, I mean, I don't know how old these are. It would have been very expensive to buy, I'd imagine. 
certainly would be this day and age. There's something behind me that's very interesting as well that I think concerns these blades, but these are absolutely fantastic. Look at the size of that. That's gotta be, what's that, four foot diameter? Five foot, the big one? Amazing. Yeah, look at the old latches on the door. Can't really get in here. When we're going there, I'll have to go from uh, the other end, I think. But yeah, incredible that. Beautiful. Do you know what, I think they're wonderful. Absolutely fantastic they are. But there's something else very interesting just up here as well. Now this was a substantial size, you know, works building this was, you know, back in the day. But we've got what we've got in the ground here, in the floor, is a bit of a pit lock. See that? So that side there, and that side there. Now we think that this is, was a soaring pit, because when you look at the size of that one back there, it's, it's a good five foot in diameter. So that would have been sunk in here somewhere, I think, because it's too high if you're gonna be cutting stuff. That's, what, that's our theory anyway. That would have been, I mean, just look at this here as well. <laughs> I mean, there's quite a bit of this stuff knocking about. This is an amazing place, this is. It's absolutely wonderful, but yeah. We think this was the saw pit anyway. Then carried away and I. Beautiful. What a find. We miss you, Dave. <laughs> During the war. <laughs> right, so something else very interesting about this building. Not just Indy Andy Jones filming me there. Alright, brother. <laughs> right, so just... Hey, oh, oh, shit. It's catching me falling all over the place. <laughs> Brilliant. No, I'm gonna. I can't, I can't stand straight now. I've lost my train of thought. And I'm leaving that in. Comedy value. So just the other side of that wall there is those beautiful blades we've just been looking at that I feel have just uh, severed my ankles. Right. <laughs> and it's just here in this room here. We've got this wonderful old fireplace. Now me and Indy Andy Jones before he started taking the piss out of me because I was falling about here, there, and everywhere. We've just been discussing that there might have been a forge here. You know, so to sharpen blades and other stuff that they needed doing. That's what we thought, weren't it? Yeah. Now that to me doesn't look like your normal everyday fireplace that don't. Now I think this could have well could well have been a forge. That's our theory anyway. But I love these old fireplaces. But let me just give you a closer look at it because it is interesting this. So for all I know they were using this to make a bit of Welsh rare bit. Do you know what I mean? But yeah when you look at this this is really well reinforced this is do you know what I'm saying? To me this looks like a forge as well. I might be totally wrong. I love the fact that it's it's burnt at the back here, still stained. Well, I need my torch on for that bit, don't matter. There's not a lot to see up there. But yeah, I think this was a bit of a forge as well. It makes sense to have a bit of a forgery here um, with blades like that for cutting wood because, well, everything back then logistically wasn't as possible as it is now, was it? Um, when it comes to like going somewhere to have something fixed or whatever. But yeah, this is a... I love this place. I absolutely love these old buildings. Do you know what? If this was really well intact, it'd still be as impressive as what this is to me now, which sounds a bit weird, I know. But yeah, see where the, the upstairs was there as well. But yeah, see what else we can find around here anyway. I hope you enjoyed watching me falling about like a prat anyway. <laughs> Right, well, unfortunately, that concludes today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as we have because this has been brilliant. This has been a bonus today, to be honest, because, like I think I said earlier, we went elsewhere and that kind of failed because what we was going to look at, which was an old mill, had actually recently been brought and it was all boarded up and everything, and there was actually some amazing workings in it. So I drove for the best part of an hour and a half to get there, <laughs> and um, we failed, basically. Well, you never know unless you have a go, do you? But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little video. And if you did, please like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you at the next one. You can bet your last imaginary quid and roller on that. Take care of yourselves. Bye.